Thank you for watching Culture Shock News. This article comes to us from conservativedailypost.com. Julian Assange now warns the intelligence community considers themselves a permanent government. Yesterday, a look was taken at the likelihood that someone within the internet technology side of Trump's administration was a leftover from Obama's years or perhaps prior. It was reasoned that while such data is certainly classified, leaving only educated guesses, that the turnover rate for the people who coded for the U.S. government is not likely based on who won an election. It was asked if this kind of job retention, which would be vital, it can be assumed for national security, could also lead to lax uh, in or even purposefully harmful management of security imperatives that could be used to harm Trump, whether by neglect or sabotage, it was established that the guilty must hear Trump's famous words, you're fired and we must move onward. Today, Julian Assange has made the question much bigger than if a few internet nerds got it wrong or not by suggesting that perhaps the entire intelligence community is working to bring down or otherwise harm the presidency of Donald Trump. Assange is serious enough about the reasoning that after a few jokes, he christened his new Twitter account, created only Tuesday, with a post about it. After a tweet after, at the account being born, his second posting read, Rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated in a curious plot, which featured links to all of his presumed dead rumors that were trending. We already know that Julian Assange told Sean Hannity that, quote, they are trying to say that President-elect Trump is not a legitimate president, which, like much that he said, states a great deal with very few words. People are allowed to have an opinion and even know that Trump is wrong. Everyone reading this is free to share the wisdom or discard it and complete rubbish, but this is not the case in the IC. The IC, much like members of the security staff, are not allowed to have anything that even resembles an opinion unless it pertains to an option on what they believe a certain data set may show them. It is not a breach of their rights. Their job is to gather data, present data, and do nothing but assist the president. They are free to quit at any time, but while on the post, they are to gather data, analyze data, and deviate in no way from the president's wants. They are uh, what makes up the president's mind, not to be what influences it. That is what allowed George W. Bush to send us to an unseated war in the Middle East, and it must never be allowed to happen again. So what is it that we have? It seems rather short-sighted to have held in suspect only the IT department when the big picture seems to blame a much larger and more dangerous group of people. Bad intelligence could now lead to nuclear war if bad intel arrives that is a counterpart of a war with Russia who is still buzzing our warships, for instance, also, these leaks and half-truths that are happening are very likely attempts from within to bring down Trump and destroy his leadership ability. If he can be painted as incompetent and this movement splintered as a result, the hope of Congress is that Trump can become more pliable. The trouble is that a more pliable President Trump is not what the nation voted for. They voted for everything that stops what those in the IC are trying to cause to occur. The voters do not want a watered-down travel ban. They actually want it expanded to include the wife beaters, throat slashers, and gay bashers in Saudi Arabia. We don't want NAFTA light. If uh, we did, we would have voted for Gary Johnson. We want NAFTA gone. The list can go on and on, but the point is that the hateful left is no longer trying to beat Trump on issues or votes, which they every on every right in the world to try to do, but rather by using or by being the people whom the president is counting most upon, it does not take a genius to say the IT department to deduce that it could not 
lead to the fall of Donald Trump, but also cause undue warfare, failed deals, security woes, and even unclear exchanges. Many think that Vice President Johnson or someone in the CIA, let's let us remember what I is for, gave not only bad intelligence to John F. Kennedy, but that those within the IC actually allowed and helped plot his death. In the media today, we see a myriad of calls for what? Donald Trump's death. If not for people in the independent media pointing out the fact, Facebook and Twitter are not even going to act at all to stop it, as displaying by how long many death threats are allowed to remain active even when reported. Just like when the Twin Towers fell and those that hated America danced in the streets, then denied it even though videos exist of it, so will the Democrats and hate mongers on the left dance should Trump fall in much the same way. We are then saying that we could be uh, reasons to suspect that those within our government are working to give Mr. Trump bad intelligence, fake intelligence, misinformation, and to leak on his administration to such a degree that it puts not only his life, but the life of everyone at risk. In light of what we have seen so far, the answer has to be yes, without overstating the issue and roaming into the realms of conspiracy if President Trump is seeing liars in his ranks, many of whom he did not place there, and if there are seeing links, uh, leaks formed these people, then uh, the only logical conclusion is yes. Assange is not Trump's friend. It is debated after the, the way that Assange attacked Trump over his taxes if Assange even likes Donald Trump, which does not matter in the least. President Trump most likely does not like Assange just because if President Trump hears the very word leak one more time, he may to uh, uh, may opt to smack whoever he said just said. And all the humor aside that Assange is posting matters because WikiLeaks has a perfect batting average. They do not post lies and they do not allude to conspiracy theories. Knowing this, keeping an eye on what changes happen in the IC will show the depth of this WikiLeaks tweet, because if Assange knows, Trump knows. If WikiLeaks' history of correct calls is any indication, look for changes to happen in that sector very, very soon. Thank you for watching Culture Shock News. I leave you a link below for this article.